Hey guys, Todd Durkin here, founder of Fitness Quest 10, San Diego, California. I'm with the man, the myth, the legend, the founder of B3 Sciences BFR Training, Dr. Mike DeBoer. Mike, welcome to the show, my man. Thanks, Todd. We're talking BFR training. I've been using it now for almost a year yep. with some amazing results. Can you talk about BFR training and, and some of the results that you're seeing with your clients, athletes, worldwide? Well, the training is putting these awesome bands on, which safely slows down blood flow so you can get a better workout. Basically, what's happening is you got less oxygen to work with, so you're going to fatigue deeper. But what kind of results are we seeing? Well, here's what the studies show, and here's what people are saying. They're building muscle faster. They're getting stronger than they were before. People who lift weights like power lifters or people are just into strength. They're seeing their strength best records go up. How is that possible? Because when you've got the bands on, you hit a deeper fatigue. Even though it's lesser weight, you hit a deeper fatigue. We've got speed athletes that are running faster, track athletes running faster, endurance athletes, that's a huge one. We got Ironman, Sparta, senior games, mountain bikers, uh, cross country skiers, all beating their personal best. Why? Because they can fatigue deeper mm -hmm. in their training with the bands. And then talk about changes, weight loss. Huge changes in weight loss because yep. the bands allow you to get that wonderful deep fatigue that turns on metabolism. Then there's a whole health benefit side. I mean, that one's big. Yeah, huge. The studies out of Japan shows that it can improve bone density by simply doing a light exercise, especially in our senior women population. We now have women who are seeing bone density changes on DEXA scan that are just shocking their doctors. So this is not just for athletes? Oh, no. This is you know senior women going for a walk. You know, but let's, let's face it, what would happen if, you know, the local senior ladies, 60, 70, 80 years old, would come here and strength train with you? You know what would happen to their bones, don't you? Please, they get stronger, yep. but they can't do it because they can't tolerate it. Mm -hmm. They can put the bands on and do some light exercise and get that same result. Cardiovascular changes. In Japan, this is actually used to treat cardiovascular disease, atherosclerosis, and hypertension because it releases nitric oxide and vascular endothelial growth factor. We got those studies out on the website. We have women with hypothyroidism. What does the American Thyroid Association tell every woman to do who has hypothyroidism? Get high intensity exercise. Notice the word here. They're not saying go to the local water aerobics class. Yep. yep. Go do, no offense, yoga. Go do some yoga. Go for, no, they're talking high intensity exercise because that turns on your thyroid. Now women can put the bands on, simulate high intensity exercise with light work like walking, going for a light bike ride, going to the gym and lifting some light weights. Varicose veins, there's even the studies that varicose veins get better. And my favorite, because I've got some seniors, when you do high intensity exercise, which seniors can't do, you increase cerebral blood flow and you release brain-derived nutropic factor. We've got now a whole bunch now we're talking. of seniors whose cognition is getting better, their tremors are being reduced. We're not curing disease here, but man, you are turning on the body to function better. And all this is based on science out of Japan. So not only are we losing weight, toning up, feeling better, getting into you know, the arm farm and getting all pumped up. Man, we're moving the needle on things like cardiovascular health, bone density, growth hormones, skin, feeling younger, brain function, varicose veins, thyroidism, and immune system. And that's not even get started on that. But we all know people who do high intensity exercise or the bands are going to have stronger immune systems. So let me ask you a question. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go for my third workout today after listening to you. I'm all fired up. One of the common questions I get is, well, which bands do I get? Is it one size fits all? So how do you know when you go to B3 Sciences which band to actually get? There's what, four different sizes? How do you know which one to Four different get? sizes. Just click on that little size chart icon. It says size chart. Okay. And you'll measure your arms right here. And right here, and you'll either get a ones or twos for the arms. I'm wearing the twos and then the legs, we got threes and fours. Now the big guys, you know, the guys with the 17, they put the threes up on their arms. Yeah. And then we got fives for the legs. You know, NFL linemen, sumo wrestler guys, we got the fives. And we've got some young kids, they put the twos down on their legs. So we got ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. Just go to the size chart. Go to the size chart. It's simple. It's, it's easy simple. on that stuff. So guys, click on the link below. Check it out. BFR Training with B3 Sciences. My man, Mike DeBoer, has been uh, changing the game, not just in the athlete world and the sports world, but now in the fitness world. And when I talk about performance world, I'm talking fitness performance for people of all ages.
kids, adolescents, on up to uh, 80-somethings. They got my 80-somethings uh, with the BFR bands as well. So get it right, get it tight, get your mind right, and get some BFR, baby.